there's the desert broom bush out in the front well actually the side of our house and um, I cut I cut the desert broom uh, weed back quite a bit um, as you can see you know it's it's pretty deep into the ground and I cut I cut the root system pretty deep into the ground um, but uh, also you can see that the desert room is starting to come back again and, and I'm not quite sure um, I thought well since I cut it whenever I cut it then I, I put I, I, I covered it up with some dirt um, but maybe the dirt was sufficient um, because the dirt had nutrients in it and maybe that's why the root system was able to you know grab onto some of that dirt uh, some of those nutrients and and um, start growing again start growing that desert room again um, we have I, I'm, I'm gonna show you gonna upload it in a couple of days probably um, um, serious root system uh, well not a root system it's more of like a bunch of sprouts that are growing in the um, in the um, sink of our shower and so or the drain of our shower and so um, I guess they don't need the, I guess the, the sprouts don't really need sunlight in order to grow um, not I mean not really not not a whole lot I mean it the sun there still is sunlight that gets in in the sink area or it gets in the drain area or the shower is uh, just a little bit of sunlight gets in there and so there's probably just a little bit of sunlight that gets in where the where I cut the um, where I cut this desert broom back uh, pretty darn deep um, so anyway it just probably just needed a little bit of nutrients and or a lot of nutrients and a little bit of sun and it would be fine you know it's kind of ironic because there's so something that I really enjoy and I really would like to grow is is um, creosote but creosote, I can never get it to grow. Uh, I guess it, maybe it depends on the, the direction that it's facing the sun, and uh, you know if it's on the north side of the on the north side of the of the wall, or on the south side of the wall, or the east side, or the west side. Um, I'm not really sure, and maybe at certain times of the year it would help it grow. But you know, I see creosote the creosote bush just grow like wildfire out there in the, in the desert it just grows all over the place in the desert and you know they don't water it special or anything like that for it to grow so uh, it's just it's just kind of ironic you know I, I can't then I can't get a silly creosote to grow I, I think that would be better than a, a Christmas tree I think having a creosote instead of a Christmas tree would be better. It would be my own style of, of celebrating Christmas. Um, that root system of the desert boom, I can it it I can almost pull it out of the ground, but I just don't have an I don't I have good enough leverage to to do that to pull it out. Um, but it it seemed like the the dirt was pretty loose and and I was trying to use the uh, loppers to cut that fruit system down pretty pretty deep so that it was wouldn't would have a harder time growing back uh, maybe not grow at all because I across the across the sidewalk on the other side of the sidewalk on the um, I guess the south side of the sidewalk I cut a um, a really really nasty mesquite down 
uh, and I cut it down into the root system pretty good and that one didn't come back I don't know if that one didn't come back but this desert room is like I said it's very stubborn and it keeps wanting to come back and and so you know I, I, I cut the root system way down this time and hopefully you know hopefully it won't come back again but um, I don't know I'm not I'm not holding my breath you know I I mean it, the desert room is just seems very it seems very uh, very able to thrive um, very strong strong willed uh, in our area it grows uh, quite easily um, we got a Ruslansia that grows pretty nicely in our area and I, I don't mind Ruslansia at all but that desert room it grows quite a bit and, and uh, I don't have allergy problem but a lot of people do and and, and you know, the, I guess the desert boom is really, really bad on their allergies. It gives them a lot of, uh, uh, you know, it makes their nose run and things like that. But we will see what happens with the desert room. Hopefully it won't come back. Fingers crossed.